Hello everyone, I'm Steve Miller. I'm an ambassador at the Botanic Garden at OSU and I have March tips for you. Let me begin with the garden and flower area. First, cultivate those annual flower and vegetable plantings. You know that there are a lot of winter weeds that are there. Second thing you should do is to begin to divide and replant all of those terribly overcrowded summer and fall blooming perennials that you have. Finally, if you have not done so yet, cut back on that old liriope and the other or ornamental grasses before the new growth begins. Let me now share with you some March tips for the trees and shrubs. In this area, there are a number of fact sheets that you'll want to turn to for specific details. First of these, begin by pruning those roses just before growth starts and start a regular disease spray program just as the foliage appears. Secondly, prune those spring flowering plants immediately following their bloom period. Following their bloom period, don't forget that. You might use some anthranose control on sycamores, maple, and oak just as the buds begin to swell. The plopia pine, tip blight, control on pines, begins at blood swell. Be ready to spray that as well. Chemical and physical controls of galls, or the swellings on stems of trees, should begin now as well. Dormant oil can still be applied to control mites, galls, overwintering aphids, etc. Finally, the first generation of Nantucket pine tip moth appears at this time begin the pesticide applications in late March. Let's turn to that turf. Broadleaf weeds can easily be controlled in the cool season lawns at this time with post-emergent broadleaf herbicides. You might want to apply pre-emergent crabgrass control chemicals to cool and warm season turf grasses. Heed those labels cautions when using any of these weed killers near the root zone of your desirable plantings. March is the second best time of the year to seed cool season turf grass. However, fall is the best when, and hopefully you uh, did some planting at that time. Cool season grasses such as bluegrass, fescue, and rye grass may be fertilized now with that first application of the season. Usually four applications of fertilizers are required per year in March, May, October, and November. Finally, begin mowing those cool season grasses at one and a half to three inch and a half inches high, remembering that they, you move them higher as the summer goes on and heat arrives. I hope you find these March tips helpful. They, they will lead you into a much nicer spring and summer and into the fall if you get started on all of them now. Also, let me encourage you to come out to the garden beginning now and all throughout the, uh, the season, growing season into the fall and you'll find a delightful experience of diversity at the garden itself. Thank you. Mm -hmm.